Hello YouTube, it's that time of year again when Lay's has come out with three new flavors that they are going to put up against each other and America will vote and see which one they like the best. And each one was created by someone on their website dousaflavor.com and this is the American version and let's just get started. The first one, this is the kettle cooked variety comes from Lindsay Hoffman of Palm City, Florida. And this is the Kettle Cook Everything Bagels with Cream Cheese. So, will the chips give us the flavor of one, a bagel, two, all those things on the bagel, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onion, I think, and three, the cream cheese on the bagel. Let's find out. First things first, we give it a smell. Kind of smells like overcooked potatoes. Look inside the bag, you see a lot of empty air. The potato chips themselves don't have specks of any kind on them. One more. Well, not very descriptive on the back. Potatoes, vegetable oil, and the third ingredient is everything bagel and cream cheese seasoning, which contains cream cheese. Salt, poppy seed, onion powder, garlic. It has a very slight cream cheese flavor. And maybe a hint of onion. And that's about it. Oh, look at this one. You can actually see some poppy seeds on the chip. So visually it adds a little bit to it, but flavor wise, no. This is a very bland chip. It's not even very salty. The everything bagel chips suck. Five and a half out of ten. Next, let's go with Greg Pope from Charlotte, North Carolina, brings us the wavy variety, which is fried green tomatoes. First of all, let's get this one. These have a tomatoey smell to them. Light tomatoey smell, but it's there. And as you can see, these have a little bit more color to them. There you go. Some color to it. It's not bad. They got a little spice to them. And then a subtle tomato flavor. You can see the spice on it. That's an interesting flavor. If you were to give me these without a label on them, I probably wouldn't say, oh yeah, that's fried green tomato flavor. which their fried green tomato seasoning is buttermilk, salt, sugar, uh, tomato powder, onion powder, brown sugar, spices, garlic powder, paprika, mustard, 
vinegar, and turmeric, as well as some artificially flavors and weird name things. If I think about tomatoes, I can sense it, but it's subtle. But it's alright. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Not terrible. Much better compared to the last one. And the third variety, this comes from Ellen in San Antonio. The crispy taco flavor. As we all know, no chip company has ever made a taco flavored chip. Brand new, guys. Let's go smell, see if it smells like tacos. It smells like tacos. There's the picture of it, which basically means there's cumin in it. Good dry taste to them. So it does have like a taco seasoning to it, but it tastes like it tastes like that packet of taco seasoning you get and you would add it to meat which tells you that this is lacking any meaty part of the taco flavor let's see what's in the taco seasoning salt spice onion powder tomato powder garlic powder sugar cheddar cheese sour cream buttermilk <laughs> Paprika. I'm guessing in the spice there's some cumin because it does smell like there's cumin in it. Man. The Dugas of flavor this year is just not that great. And the special one they had at Walmart was terrible. And this is disappointing. I'm going to have this, this one a 7 out of 10. Which makes my winner for this year the fried green tomato wavy variety. It's really the only one that tastes alright. And I'm not disappointed by it. And it's like a C plus at best. Very happy, ladies and gentlemen. My winner of this year's Do Us a Flavor, the wavy fried green tomato flavor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time. Goodbye.